Hello, friends. Happy to be here and happy to be part of this invigorating group, you know, for artificial intelligence. So I'm Chetan Chopra with Persistent Systems. Uh, I've been into IT services and digital transformation for past 32 years. So, uh, you know, a lot of contribution our company is doing within the Gen AI area. Gen AI, as you know, is in the brink of uh, IT revolution today. When you talk about diagnostics, so diagnostics are going to be, you know, as precise as a tailor-made suit. This is not, but it is going to be. Um, as far as treatment plans are concerned, they're going to be curated and carved based on the gen genetical uh, plans for each individual. So a lot of advancement going on today in Gen AI. So let's see, you know, where is uh, Persistent Systems? So Persistent is one of the fastest growing digital transformation companies in the world today with the 1.2 billion in revenues, close to 7.3 billion market cap, and year-on-year -year growth of uh, about 14.5%. Uh, 20% of our revenues come from healthcare and life sciences practices. We are 24,000 people strong today. Especially within Gen AI, we have 16,000 people who are trained on Gen AI models, foundational models. We have 80 plus engagement going on within Gen AI with 50 plus clients. And we have 50 plus in-house Gen AI accelerators that we have built that can get any company to speed. And they are into various forms and shapes. They utilize uh, small language models, large language models, and also large uh, multi-model models. So uh, as a company, we are recognized by the industry. Uh, HFS Horizons has named us as the leader uh, in, in, in the industry. Uh, also, Gartner has ranked us as one of the challenger in the industry within the Gen AI and uh, IT cloud transformation space. Especially coming to HLS, we have been working in the HLS vertical for past 25 years. We have 125 clients and 4,000 subject matter experts. You pick any segment of HLS. It could be payers, providers, pharma companies, CROs, medical device and instrumentation companies. We have uh, top three of the top 10 clients with whom we are already working today. If we look at uh, Gen AI, it is forecasted to be about 115 billion by 2027, of which HLS vertical will contribute approximately 20 billion, this is a forecast. So there is a journey for AI maturity. Where we are today, we are talking about digital assistants, and there is also a lot of uh, productivity being infused by developer platforms and tools using AI. But the future holds custom industry solutions which are based on foundational AI models. And then there are going to be specialized industry solutions based on proprietary data models. What we do today, there are a lot of things which we are doing, right from uh, drug discovery, clinical trials, and also to improve decision support system. So the decision support system, we are using heterogeneous database, which is on unstructured, semi-structured, and structured data. Uh, we are able to vectorize this information. The information could be using NLPs or it could be biomedical images. Once we are able to vectorize, we can make sense of this data by using knowledge graphs. And we can link this information uh, using some programming languages, Python per se, and we can represent this information into tables or any specific formats which you may need. So providing biomedical insights for the voluminous data, the data that could be coming from research papers, literatures, uh, journals, at speed, uh, that can be performed by AI, which may not be possible manually with speed and with accuracy. Once we train our models, the accuracy for Gen AI models will increase. So this is what we have been doing for a lot of our customers, building these models from them based on their specific needs. Especially in medical uh, uh, device industry, especially the biomedical imaging, we have vectorized a lot of information from that using multi-model models. We have connected NLP uh, to a lot of queries and digital assistance that we have made to make sense and produce results and nice patient outcomes with efficacy. Also, uh, in the patient journey transformation, we are creating a great experience towards member engagement, right from onboarding, the engagement of patients to retention. There are a lot of initiatives we are doing, a lot of solutions we are building which are here driven that ranges from reminders uh, for their appointments or setting up appointments as well. Even the back office tasks, which can be claim processing and management, there's a lot of AI involved. We can uh, 
evaluate the elig eligibility of members and also prior authorization that can reduce the rejection of uh, the claims. A lot of expert systems which are built, which can do a lot of uh, manual tasks, which is done manually today, uh, which can take a lot of time, but this can really save time and money. So the idea is to save money. The idea is to optimize cost, save that cost for the providers and also ultimately for the members. So these are some building blocks that we are currently working uh, within the industry for HLS. The idea is to democratize data. The data should be available to any user within the company based on their rights. Uh, <clears throat> when we work with our customers, we define their entire Gen AI maturity roadmap. So we take workshops, we do assessments for them, we let them plan their Gen AI maturity model, uh, how it will suit them specific to their needs. And we also recommend to them what kind of hyperscalers to go with, they can choose their own, what kind of computational speed is required, what kind of memory is required, security, which is paramount to electronic health records. All that we are willing to work uh, and provide to our customers. So once again, uh, the same thing uh, which I wanted, which I just mentioned, we have highlighted here, how we are impacting AI using NLP, uh, drug discovery, clinical trials, using the knowledge graphs, and also the clean trial management. So our list of clients is growing rapidly, which is for entity extraction and making bots, conversational models, and also medical imaging. So this is a representation of our growing Gen AI list. Thank you very much, happy to be here. I'm also joined by four more colleagues within Persistent. Two of them have traveled 12,000 miles uh, from India. We are uh, I2B2 partner. We provide first level technical support to I2B2. My colleague Santosh Dikshit, who's the chief domain expert uh, within this, he will be speaking about uh, precision medicine tomorrow. So please do attend. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.